We come now to the final of Fra sorry, Flavia Rodriguez Gomez of Brazil. There's Rogic. And there is uh, Gomez Rodriguez. He's a pretty strong customer. We've seen her um, put away Camila Minikawa. Minakawa still um, learning her trade at uh, 57. She's come down from 63. And uh, maybe just got to get used to the change in tempo. And just how to use that uh, strength that she should have coming down from 63 to 57. We'll see over the next um, couple of tournaments when we um, see how Minakawa progresses. Anyway, that's uh, a done deal because uh, Rodriguez Gomez has already put her out. We'll see her on the podium when she picks up a bronze medal, but let's see how um, Rodriguez Gomez gets on. Misses out with that uh, attempted right side. Uchimata didn't go through with it and just collapsed to the tatami. First minute has gone. Rogic um, had a win against Ayecha of Brazil in the uh, in the semi-final. I didn't see her match with uh, uh, Castillos. Just something about the uh, Ayecha match that wasn't that that great. A couple of little slips in there. We need to tidy those up if she's going to move from 44 up into. Uh, she really needs to be in the top 20. That's another 20 places that she needs to climb. Could be a big ask. Left-sided attempt, but uh, wasn't strong enough to trouble. Rodriguez Gomez. Yeah, it's a nice position from uh, a Brazilian. Just setting things up to go right-sided there. She also had... Uh, a little bit of a stalemate against um, Minakawa until she came up with that crunching Uchimata. It's probably what she's trying to set up now. Yeah, caught there. It was a little bit um, sleepy. She was thinking about her own attacks and not aware of um, the possibility that Rogic could come up with a scoring uh, attack of her own. <laughs> <laughs> you go, you go down now, the Brazilian. Rogic leading here. That's the Uchimata that did for Minakawa. But um, I was just about to point out the left hand. Her control of the left hand of Rogic wasn't quite what she wanted and that came up it was she just didn't have control of, of um, it, it's it's her left controlling Rogic's right that's what I meant about the left hand she hasn't got that where she wants to be and it wasn't secure when it came away Rogic had a chance to get her hand down and avoid being thrown, whereas it should have been going across um, Rodriguez Gomez's body, making sure that uh, Rogic ended up on her back.
Rogic still leading by Yuko inside the last minute now. Getting a bit desperate here. Went on the other side, good effort. Gonna need a bit more pressure. Well, that's not gonna do it really, a score is what's required now. Just at the moment that, um, just at the moment that uh, Rodriguez Gomez was attacking, so was Rogic. Time's going to run out now. That would have been a huge attack from the Brazilian, but Rogic was attacking at the same time, and that nullified it. Got to go now. missed and that was all there was time for Rogic it is who's going to keep this run of different countries winning as she takes the gold medal for Serbia and Rodriguez Gomez takes um, the silver Disappointment for the Brazilian, but delight for the Serbian as she takes her first Grand Slam medal. And it's gold as well. That's happened to a few of them now. The first Grand Slam medal has been a gold. I wonder how many more she'll win in her career. How many times will Jovana Rogic stand on the first place spot in the NIJF Grand Slam tournament? Here are some highlights. <laughs> 